Hello everyone, and welcome back to Salasta, Crown of the Magister. I am now really not convinced that we have quite what it takes right now to take on the seventh level foe that lies beyond the doors ahead. And so what I'm pondering doing is going around the right hand side and seeing if we can't take out some of the other foes that are here collect some more resources, take ourselves a supplemental long rest for some spell slots and such, and then see if we'll be better prepared to do what lies ahead. Because after, I think, four attempts now, two on camera, I am unable to make any kind of progress through that door. So instead, down this kind of cliff edge here, there are many foes that we might be able to just slowly begin to lay waste to. So the first thing I'm going to do is start opening some windows. Uh, that was a critical miss against an object. There you go. So, is there vines to climb down here or something? There's a box. Okay. Let's go cautious. Hop on down. And there is our first window. Faith, you are the sneaky, sneaky type. Let's put this torch away. And instead just attack the open window. Or the closed window that will now be open. Right, there's a pile of corpses just over there. So my intent is to attack this window. And then immediately retreat to the rest of the party. Although I can't quite see anyone else yet, so let's bring these three up into this pocket of darkness. And we'll take faith for a little walk further. Of course, Faith does not have dark vision. But in a previous look around here, I thought I'd seen loads of varying kind of undead stood around the place. And now I can't see them. Oh, there they are. Quick, run, 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 run. Okay, Faith got this far. Let's check these bookcases for anything really useful or important. Crafting Ghoul's Caress. Craft, crafting five times Ghoul Caress Poisoned Arrow. Poisoned Bolt. Crafting Breastplate of Deflection. What on earth is Ghoul's Caress, and can we tell from the item description? Read this manual to learn how to craft the Ghoul's Caress item. Okay, um, first question is, which character is proficient with the Poisoner's Kit? Smith's Tools, Thieves' Tools, Poisoner's Kit, Smith's Tools, Scroll Kit, Manacallan Rosary. So it's Pastel. So we'll wait until we get across over that direction to do that. In this bookcase, crafting leather armor of survival and some coin. And then I did not see this previously, but there is a small chamber up here as well. We of course still have spider climb making this much easier for ourselves. An antitoxin and an angry violet. Okay. So it appears there are no other items of interest down here. So it's just a few bits of looting. And then the many foes that lie between us and the other side of the room. That we did manage to successfully sneak by the first time. So I'm going to see if we can't get back to the party promptly because they are not the most well sighted creatures it seems 
fairly low passive perceptions. Uh, no, no. Give me faith, please. Gotta have faith. Alright, before we worry about trying to hurt that crew over there, I want to know what this ghoul's something poison is. Because if it is a poison that will help us defeat undead faster, oh boy, I want it. So, inventory. Faith. Please give this to Pastel. Pastel, please learn this. I don't know why this has a 1 on it and this has a 3 on it. But hey, read. To craft the ghoul's caress, you require storm heather, magnesium, deep root lichen. Okay. We have magnesium. I don't know about the lichen part. Let's read this while we're here. And then what was the other thing that Faith picked up? Crafting breastplate of deflection, leather armor, ghouls caress poisoned arrows, and poisoned bolts. So that is for somebody that has Fletcher's tools, I guess. But I'm not sure if we're going to have the stuff we need for this. How do I read my poison book? Where are my recipes? Crafting, that would make a lot of sense. Um, so we do have it. We have Poisoner's Kit, Medicine, Nature, Crafting, DC 16 Duration, 48 Hours. So, in that case, we are going to, as a group, come back downstairs through this doorway, have ourselves a cheeky long rest in the bunks that are in the top corner of this room, learn what that poison might be we can come out of cautious to get across this space a little faster learn what that poison might be and see about making some arrows or bolts with it or something and then just perhaps maybe have ourselves an easier time of doing this combat on the other side of this room also we can change the spells that pastel has prepared as a cleric and we can change the ones that Gothic is currently having prepared out of the spell book as well. So those guys fell because they are not the most athletic folk in the world, apparently. What I'd really like to see is kind of some long plots and quests that need something to be done within, say, 56 hours. So then you can keep working at your goals, but it's going to take you some time possibly to debate how many short rests you take, how many long rests you take. But hey, that might even happen yet. Yeah? We don't know. So we are in this room back here somewhere. There were bunks and a fireplace. There. So we're going to move through here, ignoring all the other folks that are around. Another big pile of bodies, terrifying. And we're going to have ourselves a small bit of kip. So, first of all, pastel. Do we know the guidance cantrip? Although I guess it lasts a minute, doesn't it? Spare the dying, chill touch, guidance. If this lasts a minute, I'm going to guess that we can't use it on the crafting check for Ghoul's Karas. Required successes, 48. The character's crafting time depends on the crafting character's ability check success. Checks are repeated every hour until crafting is complete. DC 16, hard. Required spell, none. A terrifying chemical poison that can paralyze even the greatest fighter. 1d8 poison damage, save to negate, inflicts paralyzed, save each turn to castle. Cancel. Interesting. Let's try. So 
so this isn't going to keep ticking over now. Now we need to long rest, I guess. Is there anything that Gothic wants to do? Oh, he's got plus seven with the poisonous kit. Definitely should have done it over here. That's me being daft. All right, well, we're learning. That's a thing that we are definitely doing. We also have a unknown potion that we picked up moments ago. I think Faith has it. Uh, no, no, where is it? All right, tell you what. I'm always getting this wrong, but I think we got ourselves detect magic with our paladin. So with that, we can now go through our inventory. Remarkable arrows. Apparently magic. Great sword plus one we know about. Magnificent quarterstaff. Question mark. Item has magical properties that require identify. So when we come to taking long rests that um, we know we have paladin spell slots remaining, we can definitely make use of that, which is really cool. So all of this stuff. Oh, uh, superb hand axe, unknown properties. So let's do some identifying. We're going to need the rituals for that. I wish we could just have it do it on all of the things with one click of a button. But hey. Okay. So the thing that we knew was a plus one hand axe is a plus one hand axe, I guess. Anything else? Not in this inventory. Let me guess. A plus one quarter staff? Yep, okay. But there was definitely some more interesting stuff around in somebody's inventory. Inventory? Inventory? These are just plus one arrows. They absolutely are. Ritual. There was definitely a potion somewhere. Someone had a mystery potion. Am I going mad? Someone had one? I really thought we had other mysterious things. Where is it? I have gone mad. I thought we had an unidentified potion somewhere. There it is. This is the heroism one. Spider climb has run out. There's the potion of heroism. All right, let's take a long rest, please. I don't care how long it takes because Pastel is doing... We've already performed a long... Oh, I clicked the wrong button. This this whole series of events has just been a mess, and I'm very sorry. So now we can start the long rest. I'm not even sure when we'll find out if Pastel's um, crafting goes well or not. Okay, anything else we might want here? Dispel magic and ends active spells on a creature or object. I don't know if that um, shadowy aura that they create is a magical effect that can be dispelled. 
Beacon of Hope. Wisdom on death saving throw. Advantage on wisdom and death saving throws. Healing restores maximum points. Bestow curse. Create food. Mass healing word. Man, there's nothing that screams out to me to say like, yeah, you know what? Everything's going to be great. Is there anything that we're really not using? We're not going to be using Bless because that's concentration and we're going to be concentrating on Spirit Guardians. So let's try Dispel Magic. Kite. We're going to take Magic Weapon because currently our sword is not magic. And as such, we are getting screwed over by weapons that are, or heroes or creatures that have resistance to non magical piercing, slashing, and whatnot. So let's take Bless out because we're going to be concentrating on magic weapon. We will have that for ourselves. And then Gothic. Fireball is great, however, anything else we would rather have going on right now? Haste, two actions, hypnotic pattern, charms enemies to make them harmless until attacked. It's not going to do it in our current circumstance. Fog cloud's no good, feather fall and jump, no help. Probably not going to be casting sleep this fight. So let's take Shatter for some AoE. Probably not going to be needing Spider Climb for a hot minute. So we'll take Misty Step as well. Right, that's all done. How is Pastel's crafting going? Can we see? Oh man, it's like hundreds of these. 43 more hours are required to complete this crafting operation. If we abort, progress and ingredients are lost. Okay, well, that's not like 48 hours if resting is 8 hours, I guess because the resting is the sleeping part. But we're going to be doing that for some time. But we are rested. We are healed. Join me next time where we will give this fight on the other side of the dangerous, dangerous rooms, wherever it is, I'm lost now. Where is it? Come on, where's the doorway? That side. Join me tomorrow where we will give this another go. And if we really can't do it, then it's going to get awkward and we might have to go and do some other adventuring somewhere to try and gain some more levels because, oh boy, this whole, uh, this whole lady's deal is really wrecking us at level five. So quick transposition upstairs. Back to, where's our doorway? There it is. Back to here. We'll save right out front. And then next time we'll be all ready to hop straight in and fight for our lives because I don't know what I'm going to do if we can't manage to find success in here somewhere. And here they come to save the day. All right. Thanks ever so much for watching, everyone. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.